Have you ever, have you ever been discouraged by peace? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I've, I've had pieces that, I've had pieces that I have put away for six months, eight months, for a year. I have pieces sitting in my house right now that I still haven't finished. Mm -hmm. Because I like to call it the mojo. If you lose the mojo, you you lose everything. If you, if you don't feel it, you don't feel it. I mean, and so many people in life I see tend to... Try to break through it and do it anyways. And if you're not coming from your heart, then then you're coming from somewhere else, and it's not going to be truly who you are. That's an interesting perspective. Do you have any tricks where you try to get yourself back into that state of mind, or you kind of just wait for, I guess, for inspiration? I think I think the biggest thing is is for me. I mean, and my wife hates this. I could be dormant for a, a week or two weeks with not even wanting to touch it. And then she calls it, I get in the zone. And that's all I can think about. Mm -hmm. That's all I can do. And it does. I mean, I get into this, I get in this place where everything comes alive. Everything pops out. Everything is showing up where it needs to show up. And I found myself, I, I've caught myself going, I need to get it done right now or it's going to go away. Where do you think that comes from? That essence where it's just like everything seems to click back to back and you can just go through whatever you're doing and complete yeah. multiple um, projects in this case? or and Multiple projects, you're right. It's a, oh, it's a weird I thing, right? It is a weird thing, but I think that's a tough question. Right? That's a tough question because I don't know if it comes from personal experience in my life mm -hmm. or if it's just, I wouldn't want to call it an epiphany. <laughs> but it kind of is in some weird it, it Yeah. Um, in some weird way, it just comes out of the blue like that. For me, I think it's finally that I stopped questioning myself. A lot of the time I question myself about, should I do this here or should I do this that? And a lot of the time it's me telling myself, you know exactly what you're doing, so just go do it. You just got to break through that wall you of gotta break it. indecision. Yeah, of indecision. And the great thing about art is this. Nobody has a standard for it. I don't have a standard for it. Whatever it comes out looking like, it's what it was supposed to be. I may have that in my mind, what exactly what I want it to look like. But the wood can tell me completely something different once I get into it. Yeah, that's a cool perspective, huh? Because maybe yeah. you feel you made a mistake and then you get to the finish line and it turns out 10 times better than you would have thought it would be. Exactly.